I see conflict between one person and another as being on a continuum. Think about this perceptual thing. Think about the white end of the continuum, if you like, and the black end of the continuum, and the fact that these two things are not separate, not opposing things or qualities. They are part of one another simply because of the fact that the white is a part of the black through all the gradations of grey, through the light greys, the medium greys, the dark greys to black, and black is a part of white through all the gradation of greys, through the dark greys, through the medium greys, the light greys to white. And so white is really a pale or a lighter shade of black, and black is a darker shade of white. Think of that continuum and apply it to a conflict situation where f so often a conflict is about different perceptions, different viewpoints, different standpoints. On the one, one hand, the person who wants to be in this place, who has this belief, and on the other hand, this person who wants to take a completely different position and has completely different beliefs. If you look at it on a continuum basis, you can begin to recognize that the differences that are creating the conflict are merely differences on a continuum. They're different perspectives into the very, very same reality and the very, very same truth. And with a little practice, you can recognize this and it enables you to be very, very comfortable with those differences without getting into a conflict. What I do seem to know is that martial arts training engenders within one a kind of sense of peace, contentment, I have to say I'm speaking for myself of course, uh, a sense of assuredness, confidence, um, self-worth, that allows one to move around in society, giving off a kind of aura, if you like, or a kind of sense would be a better term, a kind of sense, a kind of feeling about one that reassures people that you're okay, if you like. Um, and I'm sure this goes a long way towards making one safe, in the sense that if people get a sense that you are very happy with yourself and within yourself and confident, they seem almost to avoid the process of conflict. And it is many, many years, many years since I engaged in any real conflict, to be honest. I have expressed many times, when the assailant goes out to assail, or the mugger goes out to mug, do whatever he does, he doesn't just go out and pick the first person that he comes to, to a sale. There's a process of selection that goes on. The assailant is looking for the typical victim type, the person who exudes an aura of being a victim. The assailant isn't going to home in on somebody who looks confident, who moves confident, confidently, who, who is aware of his surroundings. 
and so the very vibrations, the very physiological messages, signals that we give off has a direct bearing on whether we are going to become a victim or not, unquestionably. There's another thing too which occurs to me. Uh, I could ask the question, why would anyone want to assault me? Why would anyone want to mug me? Why would anybody want to harm me? I can't think of a single darned reason. Of course, everybody who knows me knows that I don't wear a coat or a jacket. I like my pretty floral shirts or my Hawaiian shirts or my garish shirts. And that's it. That's all I wear, <laughs> apart from my jeans or whatever. And, and so it's absolutely evident to anyone that I'm not carrying anything of import worth stealing. I don't go around looking obviously wealthy with flash watches on my wrist or the like. I just, I'm just me in a shirt. And so I think that places me in a safe position too. I like to give off different auras to the world in different situations and one uh, facade would be a better word, one facade is the bumbling idiot facade. Somebody who is clearly looking completely helpless and useless. And one of the facades I like to present to the world is one of a kind of benign, harmless individual who isn't even worth attacking. For what purpose would you attack me? Of course I'm not stupid, I recognise that there is in this world a form of violence that I tend to call mindless or wanton violence. It seems to come from nowhere at all except in the pea brains of the assailants who just pick on somebody for no other reason than the sport of harming them. And so nobody is 100% safe in this violent world of ours. I say violent world, but in fact, how often do we witness or see violence? Apart from my profession, where I might see it from time to time, and not that often, I actually never see it. Saw an altercation uh, outside the pub the other evening with a lot of shouting and screaming and shoving and pushing, but it was over in a trice and it was typical of young people around pubs. Apart from that, I haven't seen violence. I haven't had a sniff of violence for years.